Hi guys, I'm Pao Zap. Welcome to my channel. For today, I will be reviewing the Nike Zoom Fly Fly Knit. Again, I bought this shoe with my own money. The Zoom Fly Fly Knit is a racing shoe. It's a US size 11. It weighs 9.5 ounce or 269 grams. It's kind of light. Well, it's a in the mid to light uh, running shoe. Going to the specs, the upper is made up of fly knit. It's quite uh, comfortable and stretchy. It's a uh, booty construction. The laces are flat. There's a full tab because it's uh, a booty construction. Putting your feet inside is quite easy. Going to the midsole, it's a full length react. It's quite soft and there's a label also here not sure if you can see it going to the outsole there's a I believe carbon rubber located in the forefoot and midfoot and some on the heel and exposed foam on the middle going to the performance this shoe doesn't need a break-in period it's quite soft from the beginning I choose between this and the Zoom Fly 3, but I choose this because of the fly knit. You could really feel the the carbon plate when you run. When you when your foot, foot uh, hits the ground, your midfoot hits the ground and bends, it will propel your legs, your foot to move faster. This shoe is only for uh, midfoot and forefoot strikers, not for heel strikers because for uh, for heel strikers, you won't be able to to uh, maximize the carbon plate, which is designed for midfoot and forefoot strikers. This is good for your uh, 5k, 10k, 21 to your full marathon. It's quite it's quite a bouncy, responsive ride. What else? Uh, durability. I've used this for about uh, 60 kilometers now, only for running because I don't use this for lifestyle and the outsole is still good. It's quite thick. So I'm guessing the outsole may last you about 500 miles to 600 miles. Going to the pros and cons. The pros, the upper is quite comfortable and breathable. It's a bouncy ride and due to the carbon plate. The grip is good even in a, in a wet uh, pavement or roads. The cons. Not sure the cons. The cons is it's quite narrow okay also I bought the US size 11 because the 10.5 is still quite uh, narrow for me Nike is really notorious for being narrow so I went to US size 11 also I choose this over the zoom fly 3 because the, the midsole here the react midsole here is quite softer than the ones in the zoom fly 3 I'm not sure why, but this is quite uh, softer compared to the Zoom Fly 3. There's a time limiter from heel to, heel to toe drop. Hmm. What else? Do I recommend this shoe? Yes, I would. If you want to try uh, a good carbon plated shoe from Nike, this is the the first one to buy, I believe. Ah, the insole is removable and quite thin. Racing. The heel collar. There's not much much padding in the heel, only in the upper area, on the in, in this part. 
It's kind of flimsy. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, kind of click the like button below. Put your inquiries and uh, questions in the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.